Good morning. It is great to see you all here. And I know, uh, first of all, I'm Deborah Rutter, and I'm the president of the Kennedy Center. So it's really great to have you here. Thank you. So some of you were here last year, and maybe even in year one. And I think that today you're going to see the continuing evolution. And just like a work of art, it grows, it evolves, it changes, and you may like it better, or you may think it's really different, you don't like it anymore, but be sure to tell us. Um, my colleague, who you'll meet in just a little bit, will tell you that everything we heard from you last time, we've tried to build into our day here. And if you were here last year, you know that my goal, my most important goal, other than having a lot of different kind of artists, was to not have a conversation just amongst arts administrators. And I think we did a really good job with that last year. This year, I think you're going to be blown away. We have had the opportunity to meet some extraordinary people. Um, we have great thinkers. We have great doers. We have great thinker-doers. <laughs> I, I qualify as a doer and not a thinker. But I, uh, I think that we, today we are going to have an extraordinary set of conversations. Um, as I look out into the audience, I see a lot of people I know and a lot of people I don't know, and that makes me feel even better. Because I know that by coming together and having these conversations, we can advance the cause of what we collectively seem to believe, which is that art in our world can make the world a better place. I've had the amazing good fortune to be in conversation with Renee Fleming and Yo-Yo Ma over quite a number of years. And this concept of giving back through whatever your best skill is, is uh, an act of citizenship. And the idea that artists can give back and make the world a better place by sharing their art is one that speaks so much to me. I feel like my, my early teachers in the arts were the most important ones who infused in me an interest in learning and curiosity and creativity and inspiring to do something bigger than I could ever dream of doing on my own. The idea of citizen artistry for me is um, one that's very precious and one that I hope you will help us go out and spread the world word to the rest of the world. We have some extraordinary artists that we will introduce you to later today who are going to be the first citizen artist fellows of the Kennedy Center. And we hope that you will follow them and know them and support them and that we can use them as beacons of hope in our society. The world is at a time where we need hope. We need goodwill. We need to, a belief that our world is better than the ones that we are hearing about so regularly, such negativity when there is so much beauty and goodwill in our world. And I think through the arts and through our citizen artists, and even though I can't qualify as, a, as an artist, I can qualify as a citizen artist. So beginning today, if you have not already signed on, you are also a citizen artist. And I hope we have a really robust conversation about how each of you can help make the world a better place through the arts. I um, am inspired daily by the artists in my uh, life, by my colleague citizen artist administrators here at the Kennedy Center and around the world.